many Black women speak about the psychological trauma caused by toxic jobs. And I'm no exception because the damage and the trauma is real. But for me specifically, the physical trauma was even more devastating than the psychological trauma and literally changed me from a Janet Jackson lookalike to some version of Medea. Hi, I'm Jackie Abram, the international best-selling and award-winning author of Hush Money. I've been featured in Forbes, on ABC News, and on Spectrum News, among others. And I wanna welcome you to today's event called From Janet Jackson Lookalike to Medea, The Physical Trauma Black Women Suffer in Toxic Workplaces. Now, let me just tell you right out of the gate that every toxic job I had was absolutely horrifying because although I could run from company to company, you know, I was black over here and I was still black over here. And although the companies were different, okay, the playbook that the toxic leaders in these companies were using was the same. And in every single company, when that leader decided to target me, okay, because I was a black woman, they inspired others in the organization to conspire with them, okay? And before I knew it, I wasn't just dealing with one leader targeting me anymore. I was now dealing with people, a whole lot of people, including HR, other Black employees, my own employees, IT, I mean, people, okay? People. We're all working together to destroy my career as they, you know, set me up to fail, you know, giving me the wrong information about how to do my job or, or limited information in training, okay? Making me the black workhorse, okay? Overburdening me with a mountain, okay? A mountain of work that no human Okay, no human can carry. You know, I'm talking, I'm doing the job of two, three, sometimes four people, okay? And I'm not getting paid to do all of this extra work because I have been made salary, okay? So they're setting me up to fail. You know, they're overburdening me with the mountain of work. They gave me equipment, okay, to do my job that was older than dirt, like I said. I'm pretty sure they found the computer system that they gave me to do this job as a senior director in some archaeological dig somewhere, okay, because it was older than dirt. It was freezing all day long. I couldn't complete the quality or the quantity of work that this person over here that's not Black in the same job is doing because I've been set up to fail, right? And on top of that, okay, not only are they doing these things, but now they've inspired one of my employees in every single toxic job to conspire with them, all right? And so they've actually promised my employee my job, okay? So now my employee was incentivized to watch my comings and goings, okay? falsely accuse me of harassment, falsely accuse me of doing unethical things, you know, doing everything they can to try to set me up creating ruses with this leader and these other people that I call the minions, you know, as they're all working together. And I didn't get any kind of break. I was under attack. Okay. I felt like I was in a war zone working, you know, back to back to back to back to back with all these people who are constantly attacking me back to back to back to back to back. The sad thing is in every toxic job, okay, every toxic job, they were successful in getting me out of my position because 
you know, like I said, the playbook was the same and the methods they were using were highly, highly effective at not just getting me out of my career, but getting many other Black women out of their career too, okay? Just absolutely appalling and horrifying. And as you can imagine, after you run out of the little bit of savings that you have accumulated, okay, you don't have an income because you've been forced out of your job, okay? And so now, after that savings runs out, in my case, me and my girls kept finding ourselves repeatedly homeless. Homeless. Me. Okay? I am exceptional at how I approach my job. I have the credentials. They said that they need it. I look good on paper. I communicate effectively across the board. And yet, I can't keep a job, okay? I can't keep a job. And it's not because of anything that I'm doing. It's because these people, okay, these toxic leaders have made a determination that I don't deserve the six-figure position that I hold, okay? And so they utilize this playbook to get me out of my job. Now, the stress, okay? The stress of working in this toxic environment where you are constantly fighting for your career life and constantly under duress and stress, coupled with the enormous, enormous amount of stress that I was under in one particular case, okay, where my mother, my beautiful mom, had been diagnosed with stage four colon cancer, okay, that ended up turning terminal. But when my leader, okay, the one that was targeting me, discovered that my mom was living on borrowed time, that toxic leader used my mom's cancer diagnosis as the spark to ramp up her efforts against me, okay? And, and pull me out of my career or attempt to pull me out of my career when I needed it the most, okay? When I needed it the most. Now that takes a very nasty, okay? I mean, just a nasty battle axe of a person to do that, okay? I mean, just seriously, we're talking rotten to the core. And like I said, because of the stress, okay, that I was under, as I'm trying to hold on to this job and helping my mom fight for her life, okay? My body didn't know how to process the trauma that I was dealing with. And so before I knew it, my body had erupted in 100 pounds of weight gain, okay? 100 pounds of weight gain. Now, at six feet tall, you know, because I, I'm six feet tall, okay? I am a tall girl, all right? At six feet tall, I never blended in anywhere, okay? I always stood out. But standing out as a six foot tall Janet Jackson lookalike was a lot different than standing out as a six-foot-tall version of Medea. And I just cannot tell you, I cannot tell you the, the hurtful, just absolutely mortifyingly hurtful things that were not only being said about me, uh, but were, were being said to me, okay? Um, you know, someone, I walked past, I could hear them call me a, a black job of the hut, okay? Just hurtful, very painful. You know, someone else said, you know, um, if I stop eating, you know, nasty American food, uh, then 
I wouldn't be an obese well and people would stop making fun of me. Okay. And these were two of the milder, milder things that people were saying to me. And then even worse, you know, what people were saying about, okay. By the end of my career in higher education, I was so broken because the methods that were used against me and that are currently being used uh, against a lot of Black women uh, and, quite frankly, Black men as well, um, are designed to break, you know, break that person. And so they succeeded in breaking me like I was a wild horse that they were thrilled to finally uh, tame, to finally be able to tame. And they broke me. And I found myself on the edge of the ocean at a place called Salt Creek Beach, where I was, you know, I was really considering doing the unthinkable. Okay. And I I know you know what I mean. I, I, I was just in a very dark place at that point in time. Now, I walked away from my career in higher education to save my sanity, okay? But I never walked away from a single toxic job empty-handed because I knew how to fight. I was exceptional, okay, exceptional at fighting back, all right? But no amount of money that you get from this toxic job because you know how to fight ever undoes the the trauma and the damage that was done to your mental, uh, your emotional, and your physical health. And after nearly 20 years of fighting back, not being afforded the same opportunities to succeed that other people get to experience, always being in fighting mode, I was... I was exhausted. Okay. I was exhausted, but I knew how to fight. I knew how to fight and I got multiple six figure settlements. Okay. Multiple six figure settlements from all of these doggone toxic companies. Okay. Employers who tolerated toxic leaders, employers who tolerated discrimination. I got multiple six figure settlements because. I knew how to fight. Now, I'm living my best life because I was able to turn my pain into power. And now me and my daughter, Delilah, we help Black women, okay? We help Black women and any other employee experiencing uh, racism in the workplace or discrimination in the workplace we're teaching them how to fight back, okay, through a master class called How to Fight Discrimination in a Toxic Workplace. Because what's happening to them is not unconscious. I don't care what anybody tells you, okay, it is not unconscious. The people targeting you and destroying your career in getting you out of the job that you currently hold, they're fully aware of what they're doing to you. It is not unconscious. It is unconscionable. But guess what? I know how to fight. I am an expert at fighting. They may be using the same playbook, but I'm an expert at fighting. And now I'm teaching you. I want to teach you how to fight using the strategies that I have repeatedly used that got me amazing results. Because yes, like I said, no amount of money that you get will ever undo the trauma and the damage that was caused to you. But getting a nice settlement does help. And the insurance companies and the, the board of directors and the employers themselves, they don't like having to go deep in their pocket to 
by your silence so that you don't go out and tell anybody what happened to you, okay? So they're going to go deep into their pockets to buy your silence, all right? But then they're going to go back and deal with that toxic leader and all the minions, okay, that caused them to have to go deep into their pockets. So I want to teach you how to fight back. I want to teach you my strategies. In my master class, I do just that. My master class is taught 100% online. I use Zoom as the platform to teach you. If you cannot make the live class, that is okay because replays are available, okay? Replays are available on the same day of class. The class is taught Monday through Friday for one hour a day, you know, over this five-day period. It is a powerful, powerful class. Each master class has sold out, okay? It is a powerful class. I am teaching you my strategies, and people are getting their settlements, okay? Or negotiating their terms for what they want, whether it is to keep their job with certain conditions in place, whether or not it's to walk away, but walk away with a nice severance or a nice settlement. I'm teaching you what I did to do just that, what I did that was successful for me repeatedly and what I was able to do for others repeatedly. So the next masterclass starts on Monday, June 24th at 12 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Class is taught online via Zoom and there are literally only 10 tickets remaining. Over the next week, Monday through Friday, class is held for one hour a day each day. Again, this is 100% online. And if you cannot make the live session, that is perfectly okay because replays are available after class each day. So you're not going to miss any content. This class is worth much more than the price of the tickets, which are $99 to attend the live class. Again, it's top 100% online via Zoom. Again, each session is one hour a day for five days. Replays are available after each class. You can purchase all five replays immediately right now if you do not want to wait until June 24th to attend or you don't want to receive the replays each day. You just want all replays up front. You can purchase all five replays right now for $150. You want to click the link in the description to buy your tickets. Okay, this event is being offered through Eventbrite. Um, so click the link in the description of this video uh, to purchase your ticket for the live class. There is also a link to purchase your ticket for the replays. And uh, we really are just very excited to train you and to help you as you navigate this toxic workplace that you are currently experiencing. So uh, don't forget to like this video if you are watching on YouTube and subscribe if you want to continue to see uh, content like this or future offerings for the masterclass. Now, anyone who uh, attends this master class or watches the replays will be eligible to go into the advanced master class, how I escaped my toxic job with the six figure settlement. So this particular class focuses more on negotiating. How do you get your employer to drive that dollar amount that they're offering you up? Because I guarantee you, if they offer you a severance or a settlement, they're going to be lowballing you. They're going to offer you an amount that is offensively low in most cases. And so how did I repeatedly get six figure settlements? Well, I used a strategy for negotiating and that is what is taught in this advanced masterclass. So I hope you have found this video helpful. I would love to see you in class next week. And once again, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe uh, to this video to show me some love. And uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye now.